Okay, so let's start putting together our agamographs. You have probably your two different paintings, and these are some of my student examples. You've got your first of your spheres, and then you have your second of your background. Um, and then what we started to do is we got to figure out how to put them together. Because we have two large ones, we're going to get two sheets of paper that are like this, and then we're going to label them. So the first one we label A1, B1, A2, B2, A3, B3, and you go all the way up to nine because this is um, a nine by 12 paper. So we're gonna do it by inches. And then what you end up doing is you're going to fold it like an accordion, okay? So that's our first one. And we talked about this when we did our lines. Your second one, you want to label A10, B10, A11, B11, A12, B12, all the way until you have A18, B18. Okay? So once you have these both labeled, then you start folding them like an accordion like this. And how do you do that? The first thing, I always turn this, I flip it over, okay? And I fold it like this. I flip it back over and then you fold on the line that way. And you keep going back and forth as best as you can. And I did these lines nice and dark so I can see, I know on the camera you can't really see here, but I can see where that line is through the paper. It's a little see-through that way. And I just keep folding it. And that's why we measured them, is we're gonna be cutting our other drawings into one inch strips so that way they fit. So here. Keep folding it. All right, perfect. So when you're done, you're going to have two of these. And eventually we'll staple these together. And it's going to be where we have our two paintings first painting, you're going to decide which one is going to be painting A and which one's going to be painting B. On the back of your paintings, you are going to label them. And the most important part about labeling them is you want to make sure that you do it backwards. Because when you flip this over, if I started writing this going B1, B2, I would be putting B1 here and then B, it would just be going backwards. So if I put B1 on here, your whole painting would be out of order because you flip it over. So this one would start all the way here and nothing would match up, if that makes any sense. So we write it backwards. So I decided that this painting is gonna be the B painting. So you're gonna write B18, B17, B16, B15, all the way to B1. And on your A painting, you're going to be writing A18, A17, and all the A's going down all the way to A1. Okay, so at your tables, um, I know I went through a lot of directions this first part, is you will find a direction sheet. And this is our second part. So what I already went over is, you know, you're gonna get the two lined papers, label your first paper, the A1, B1 as we did. Second one, label number two as your A2, A10, B10, all the way through. You fold your papers into an accordion. And then you labeled your sphere painting. I have that on here. Label the background or your cube painting. And now this is where I say, before you begin the cutting and gluing part, you want to look at the clock and do you have 15 minutes left in art class? If you do, then you can start beginning cutting one strip of your painting at a time. And if not, I'd just start cleaning up your area. 
So how do we go forward is you're going to glue your strips on the correct spot. So let's look at our painting. I have right here figured I would just start with the A's on this first strip that I folded. So here's A1. I'm going to cut strip A1. So you cut it. Just like that. And then you take your glue stick and you put the glue on your A1 and you stick it on the A1 here. So it makes it really simple and easy for you. The goal is, is you don't want to take apart your um, accordion. So here's my A1. And then I'm gonna take out and cut my A2. So I cut my A2, just as you saw. The reason I have us do one um, strip at a time is if you cut all of them, sometimes they get lost. Sometimes it's, if it's the end of class, we forget um, where we are. And if your name's not on it, they're all gonna look the same. So here's my second one. And how I put it in here is I slide it in, make sure it meets on the edges, and I just squeeze it together like that. And now it's in there and I'm not ruining my accordion. The more you go on and do it, you will see your painting will show up on this angle on all the A's and then your second painting will be on the B side. So it'll be really cool when it's all done. Okay, so when you're done, um, this was one that I had done last year where we did two smaller paintings and put it on the 12 by 18 paper. Um, so we did two 9 by 12s and put it on a 12 by 18 paper. But um, this year we wanted to make it like a curved circle and a larger piece. So that's why we have two accordions. And But it's the same concept that your first painting, when you turn it on the angle, you'll see it show up this way. And then your second painting on the angle um, you'll see show up that way and then in the middle you see a little bit of a mixture of both so that's what your finished product is going to look like